What's up guys, your big boy Scavenger BC here bringing you a video today. I know I haven't posted in a long, long time. It's been um been a couple months. I've been um uh, doing school. So I haven't really had much time to stream. Well, I, I, I play weekend league on the weekends, but I just I play it so sporadically that I never have like uh I just never had the mood to stream the game. But now I, that I'm streaming, um, I just streamed myself opening up 105k packs. So this video is about 105k packs. And uh, it's pretty interesting, pretty interesting stuff. So let me let me switch my, uh, my setup here. You might see a blink, my screen might blink for a quick second. Let me set it up. But you can start seeing the numbers already here. So I did it by, um, we'll call this, We'll call the sale, right? So, yeah. Sale. Oh, if my screen's not switching, so we'll just do it. This is fine. So we got sale up there, you know, over there. It's the sale. That's what we got for the pack. Um, it's a net profit. So obviously, what we make after the sale. So every every pack, every pack to open, you incur the cost of five thousand coins. Um. And then there's whatever you make from selling the pack. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I originally first thought that... So when I first started this, I was like, there's no way you're making money off of this. No way. And I was like, you're, you're losing about... I, my initial theory was you're losing about 1,800 coins per pack. Like, there's no way. Like, there's, there's not enough... There's too much pack filler. The players don't sell for enough. And the the luck aspect of hitting something valuable in terms of rating and worth is too low to impact the sale of the price to be justified for 5k you know so like what i'm trying to say is you're gonna open up a pack for 5k and you're gonna make back i think 3200 coins that's what was my idea right you you, you make back 3200 and but you lose 1800 uh, that was my initial theory, but, you know, we, we ran it, ran it with a sample size of a hundred. And it was, uh, it was kind of surprising. The one thing I do got to say is I opened it between two days. One day I started at 2 p.m. my time, which is four hours after the content drop. And the pack weight was significantly, you know, shittier. Like, there's no way to, to uh, but, um, sugarcoat that shittier. There's only one real time when we made Good profit was 7370. You know, we made a 2000 coin profit healthy. Everything else was negatives, negatives, negatives. And we made a couple of times small profits 830, 300, 800. <clears throat> so, and uh, s someone rated me. Um, and he, he mentioned uh, Re Revo, I think was his name. So he, stream, he was streaming and he rated me. And then he said that, he said that, cool, players did you sell for 700, and, and I agreed with him, and I said, I think if I opened up these packs at a more peak hour than right now, when I was opening them, and there was something special going on, where it requires non, non, non gold players, usually, these packs are more worth it. Obviously, if these, there's like SBCs where if you trade an 11, uh, gold players for like a 82 for like a uh, rare you know what they have right now but when they drop it during during um when they actually have like a promo going on that's worth it then these golds will sell anyways so what i did notice is once i was like okay i'm gonna start opening packs after the content drop at 10 a.m my time it was non-tent i called it non-tent because they're little you know you, you know there was nothing they no promos Anyways, uh, yeah, so once I noticed, I started opening packs, they started going for more, sold for more. So there's like 1,500, 1,200. The gold players are selling for eight to 900 coins, seven through 900, what I, what I would say. Compared to last night when I opened them, they were ranging from five to 700 coins. So there's a 200 coin difference that really made, it, that really made a significant impact on how much money I was gaining or losing. Uh, see, there's a lot of times where I actually hit profit on 1,200, 1,900, 1,000. 
25. Uh, you know, we hit it. We hit a couple of big ones here. We can hit uh, where's it? Let me hit this one. What I did notice is that night I did not hit a lot of position modifiers. This is the big money from these packs is position modifiers. Your camps to center mids, your strikers to center forwards. Those are the cards that will bring in the return for the pack. Um, and if not, most of the time will guarantee you the profit. I think this this instance was. I got maybe a cam to center mid, then I got a couple of other things. Maybe another position modifier in this pack. But this is the highest yielding pack we can go up here and show you. The lowest value, which was the, ironically the first pack I opened. So biggest loss. And the highest value was that 10k pack. Where I did pack like two position modifiers and some usable players that sold. Not usable, but valuable players, what I meant to say. So yeah, I did the average per pack, as you can see. I was gonna do 60 at first, but I decided to do 100. It's like, why not? So I started at 10, and I was like, okay, whatever. 10, if we see that's 36, about 3,600. We lose about 1,300. Yes, I'm like, you know, this is this is what I'm it's about. What I'm expecting. I know I said 1,800, but this is like, yeah, this is reasonably close enough. 3,600 uh, per pack. You're losing 1,400. It's like that. That makes sense. That's what I was thinking. But as the uh, this, as, as I started opening more packs, you know, and then it got up to here, and I'm like, okay, that kind of makes still make kind of sense, you know. You're losing 1,200, but once I started opening up in the, the peak hours of content hours, that's when you saw the that's just the real growth here. It's actually all growing, so it's kind of interesting that the as more packs I the more packs I open, the higher the average coin. Uh, per pack that I was getting was increasing. It was, it was and then obviously, you know, flip side, the uh, loss per pack is was decreasing all the way to 450 per pack. Um, the sales, obviously, we sold. You really just multiply this by 100. So we sold a 450 Ks worth and uh, 455, 100, 455 thousand and lost about 45 K in the process. She was really not bad and you know at first when i started this i was like oh this is a dumb method but i could see it i could see it if you open up enough packs and it, it's all about hitting the card hitting the right sellable uh card um i guess that's what it is basically the whole idea of this method is just to get lucky um unfortunately there are people who aren't lucky and they probably won't hit anything so just, this trend might just keep going you know like yeah like you don't lose a lot doing this you lose about 10 percent of what you put in so yeah so a little bit less than 10 percent. what is this nine percent nine percent let's see let's do the math here so i put in 500k actually we have we have this we have this so let's do let's do equals uh what is this k 14 k 14 divided by uh h3 h3 so yeah, 9%. Uh, I should have made that absolute value. Uh, absolute, yeah. Just to fix it, so it looks nice. And there's that. And then let's multiply it by 10. Uh, where's the multiplication button? Oh, my fucking multiplication button is scuffed. Yeah, there you go. So this is the uh, percent loss. So you, you're going to lose about. Uh, let's. Uh, actually, I think there's a function in here where if I do it like this, it'll just. Right. I can just put a percent function in here. Where is it? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Nine percent. So this is what. This what I can make this look a lot cleaner by just. Uh, you know, making it like, you know, I could, I could just do it, right? Like, making it, um, but I'll probably sort, I'll probably do this again for silver packs, because I'm interested. If you make more money off opening, uh, silver packs, I think they're 2,500 coins. If you open up, make m more money opening up 100 of the silver packs than 100 gold packs, um, but yeah, it's it's kind of wild, kind of wild that uh it turned out like this. I only lost nine percent of what I put into, 
And uh, again, I guess it just makes sense, right? People are just doing this because you don't lose that much over the long haul. And if they all you need is you hit, you need to hit like a Pogba, and you're you're back in the you're back in the uh, break even point. You know, I guess that's the idea with this. You want to be in break even, but I don't know. In terms of making money, this isn't this isn't a valuable or like a viable option. Because you're relying on luck, and that's what you, you for a method to work, you you just need an aspect. Luck aspect is always going to be in this game because it's a it's a roulette casino machine, but you want it to be small, small where it doesn't affect your ability to make a loss or a profit. In this instance, this method heavily relies on you being able to hit something big to break even and or yeah to to, to make profit and or even break even. Um. I, I don't know. I, it's fun. It's fun opening all these packs and, and selling the stuff. But at the end of the day, to make coins, to like make, make coins, I don't think I would do this. Um, I wouldn't recommend anybody to do this. I know people, there are people who hit, who hit like big players, right? But those are outliers. These are just like instances where like it... It's, it, you know, you, your luck's in, your luck's in, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's it, it's statistically irrelevant, those those times. I know you, you can you can say if it happened to you, so I just punched my, I just punched my mic. If it happened to you, like, oh, it's not statistically irrelevant, it happened to me, like, you know, I got, I got Mbappe. Yeah, you got Mbappe, but, like, you, like, how many other hundreds of thousands of packs were opened that they didn't get something? And then you happen to get that one pack. It's just uh, it's just a, an anomaly, uh, an outlier. Uh, but all in all, I don't think this pack method is it's um viable. It no. How could I? How how would I say this? I wouldn't do this to make coins. I wouldn't do this. Um, I can see why people are doing it. Obviously, again, because you make such a small prop, just small loss per pack, and then you hit something, and then boom, you're in the money. Um, but I, no, nah, not for me. Sorry. Just do, if you want to do a method where you make coins, you, you do it. You do it where you know you're, um, you're guaranteed. I, I want to say break even. When you know you can get close to break even, you're set. I think, I think 9%, which is reflective of, of, of what this is, 9% loss. Is it 9% loss? Yeah, you're losing four. So you're losing nine percent. I think that's too much. It's not even. It's it's a lot. It's too. Mm, is it too much? Yeah, I think you want to be a break even at one or two percent. Um, I think it's also a good a good way to measure this is that it's five thousand coins. Hmm. You know, at, at face value, it doesn't it doesn't look bad. But then again, like to make this all worth it, you you have to hit something big. You do have to hit something big. I just don't see it. I don't see it with the, with this like negative with this negative forty five k. I don't see it. I don't see it with the with the hit something big meth like hit an icon or something. It's just too luck based. I wouldn't. I want to do this again. Um, but I'm gonna do it again with the, with the uh, silver packs because I'm dumb and it'll be fun anyway. So yeah, this is it for the 5k gold pack method. Um, expect the silver pack method soon and uh, I'm gonna be streaming a lot on Twitch. So I'll we'll probably st Yeah, I don't know if when this goes up, but I'll probably be streaming by then. I'm, I'm gonna be streaming a lot now during the break um, and taking advantage of like, you know, COVID and not really doing anything so um but once i start school though it might be more selective of when i do videos and and um streaming i'll probably be streaming even though i'm going going start school it's weekends you know saturday sundays i'll stream foot champs but yeah this has been the longest video so it's been like 15 minutes so this has been the gold pack method and uh worth it in my opinion not really um thank you for watching stay safe guys um you know like subscribe do all that fun stuff i'll catch you later peace